The Turks and Caicos Islands Hospital continues to utilize the latest best practices in response to COVID-19. Call your family physician, the Ministry of Health hotline, and 911 as the point of contact if you have any symptoms of concerns, including cough, fever, and shortness of breath. Here at the hospitals, all divisions of our COVID-19 response team are also simultaneously activated from a security team that is needed to man the designated and isolated patient entry pathways to clinical leads, physicians, and nurses on duty. ED nurse station, good afternoon. ED manager, good afternoon. It takes a team to advise, securely transport, clinically screen, and care for a suspected or confirmed COVID-19 patient. Suspected and confirmed cases are treated with the very same level of precaution and clinical suspicion until test results prove otherwise. Personal protective equipment is applied based on the risk level for exposure and is always used in these cases. The patient is isolated in a designated treatment room, which is always prepped and ready for use. This process requires special preparation. That is why it is important for you to call us ahead before visiting the hospital. There are some core questions that are always asked during the clinical assessment to help determine whether the patient meets the latest case definition for COVID-19. Through 911, the Emergency Medical Services Ambulance Team will be notified, can then prepare and utilize special IPC gear to safely transport symptomatic patients to the emergency department. Nurse Tavares, how are you feeling today? So, so you've been coughing, how long have you been coughing for? Have you traveled recently? Contact with anyone who traveled recently? How long have you been having this fever? And I see you holding your chest, what's happening? At the core of our COVID-19 response process are stringent and elevated infection prevention and control measures that seek to protect our staff and patients from infectious exposure. Designated mobile medical imaging equipment may be also used based on clinical judgment and presenting symptoms. This is later rigorously decontaminated for absolute safety. While about 80% of persons confirmed to be infected with COVID-19 can remain at home in isolation and self-resolve without medical care, some persons can experience more severe symptoms that require hospital admission. Our medical teams on the wards deliver care with strict infection containment protocols and patients are isolated in a designated room or in a negative pressure room. We are on the front line working for you day and night. From the facilities management team to the cleaners and clinicians, our badges have different titles. But together we are one team. And our best defense as a country is social distancing and everyday preventative actions. To reduce the local impact of this global pandemic requires just as much team approach outside of the hospital as it does here on the inside. The decisions you make as a resident can determine whether we increase or suppress the virus. Follow the national COVID-19 legislation and guidelines. Stay at home. And let's stand together by standing apart. Practice social distancing. 